Hi everyone, this is ARA Productions and welcome to another smoke detector demonstration video. In today's video we have a bit of a very old, we have an oldie but a very rare smoke detector. Um, this is a Gamewell Z77 with an R7 he uh, photoelectric detector head. Let me pull the head off. You can see right here. Camera will focus. Yep. Game wall R7 head. And this is on a Z77 four wire base. So, this detector I believe came out in the early 80s and it was meant to be used on the Gamewell Zans 400 uh, panels. However, I have it wired up to my Firelight MS4, and it is working on this system. So, as you can see back here, I actually have a mounting bracket for it. Um, I believe the only other person who has one of these is Noid Server Alarm. And he said his did not have a mounting bracket. And it mounts similar to the System Sensor uh, Direct Wire uh, 800 series detectors where it's just a mounting bracket that goes across the entire length of the base and you basically screw it in from the back of the unit. So um, I just have two wires in there. Terminal one is my positive contact and terminal four, which is really terminal two, is my negative contact. And then those other two um, are for resistance and uh, looping to other devices. So. Now this has a spot for a piezo. There is not one in there, but it's obviously for if there was one to be added. And I think that would be a knockout for a thermal sensor. Um, I don't know if this detector has a remote test. Um, it does not to my knowledge, but I know that it does obviously get tested with smoke. So let's do a demonstration of that. And that right there is where the um, mounting bracket gets uh, connected to the actual base. So, and you could also, this is compatible with multiple heads. Um, some of these heads have thermal sensors on the front. Um, I believe that would be an RT7 head. And then there's also ionization heads. I'm not sure of the model for those. Um, I got both the base and the detector head itself brand new. Um, they weren't in boxes, they were actually in bags. Because I guess that's how Gamewell packaged them and then they would send them accordingly. But here's the original instructions for the base. And um, yeah, it's actually pretty useful. So um, yeah, really nice detector. Um, if you can get one, definitely would recommend it. Just make sure that if you're wiring it, just be careful because I'm not sure how, um, if it has any sort of compatibility issues with more complex panels. This is a very basic panel. There's no, there's not a lot of um, complex features on it. So I think that's why it can be programmed to this, but it was also designed to be on a very old modular panel. So I'm not sure if there's a whole lot of compatibility things that would be, um, that would go with this detector. So just make sure you uh, do your research before you purchase one. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.